In this video, we're going to recognize and create equivalent algebraic expressions. First, let's go through some vocabulary. The first word is terms. Terms are part of an expression. 4x plus 2 is an expression. 4x is a term, and 2 is a term. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction signs. The next word is like terms. These are terms that have the same variable to the same power. 2x and 3x are like terms because they both have an x to the same power. 3m squared and m squared are also like terms because they both have an m to the second power. And finally, 2 and 7 are like terms. Neither one of them has a variable. Those are both constants. Constants are numbers without the variable. So 2 and 7 are constants. An expression is in its simplest form when there are no like terms or parentheses. The first step in creating equivalent expressions is to combine like terms. When we combine like terms, we want the sign in front of it to go with it. So for example, a minus 10 is really the same thing as a negative 10. The first thing I like to do is start with the variables and box the like terms. So we have a negative 3x and we have a positive 13x. Remember, include the sign that is in front of the number. So a negative 3 and a positive 13 makes a positive 10x. Next, let's look at the constants. We have a minus 10 and a plus 15. Minus 10 is the same thing as a negative 10. So negative 10 plus 15 is a positive 5. Now, since we're writing an expression, we have to have a sign in between our two terms. Since it was a positive 5, we're going to put a plus. Had it been a negative 5, we would put a minus sign in between them. So 10x plus 5 is the expression above in simplest form. Pause the video and try the next one on your own. Now let's see how you did. You should have gotten 7t squared plus 6t plus 18. We may also have to use the distributive property when we combine like terms. Recall that the distributive property is when you have a number multiplied by an addition or subtraction expression. In this case, we can distribute that 4 to each term. 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 times a positive 3 is a positive 12. Again, we're writing an expression, so you have to have a plus or a minus in between your terms. Pause the video and try the next one on your own. Now let's see how you did. You should have gotten negative 15x plus 40. Now let's put it all together to decide if we have equivalent expressions. We want to know, does the side on the left equal the side on the right? To determine this, we have to simplify each expression and see if they are the same. We have to first distribute this negative 4 through. So we have negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8x, and negative 4 times 8, which is negative 32. We also have this 3x to bring down. If you notice, we do have like terms. We have 3x and a negative 8x. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So we have negative 5x minus 32, and the side on the left is in its simplest form. Now let's work on the side on the right. Negative 9x and positive 4x makes a negative 5x. Then we can combine our constants. Negative 24 and negative 8 makes a negative 32. You can see the side on the left equals the side on the right, so they are equivalent expressions. Pause the video and try the next one on your own. Now let's see how you did. When you have a negative in front of parentheses, you have to distribute that negative through. It's like multiplying by a negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. We have the 4 to bring down and the minus 18x to bring down. Now we have a negative x that we can combine with a negative 18x. That gets us a negative 19x. And 4 minus 12 is negative 8. Now let's look at the side on the right. We have to distribute the negative 3 through. That gets us negative 3x. And negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Now we have to add 16x. Negative 3 and positive 16 make a positive 13x. And then we have this minus 12 with nothing to combine with. Are our two sides equal? The answer is no, and we do not have equivalent expressions.